Check this out. This is what the world could look like in 250 million years. All the seven continents will merge into one giant supercontinent. Researchers call this new supercontinent the Pangaea Proxima or the Pangaea Ultima. On Pangaea Proxima, you could walk from Australia to Antarctica and travel from Shanghai to Sydney without crossing a single body of water. You may be wondering how this new supercontinent will form. Maybe humans will learn to coexist and will develop incredible technologies to merge our land masses together so we can live in unity. Okay, so that's probably not it. The truth is that this will happen without our help, regardless of whether or not humans are around to see it. You see, there are tectonic plates in the Earth's crust that are constantly shifting, causing continents to move by a few centimeters every year. Every 400 to 600 million years, these tectonic plates come together and combine into one big supercontinent. This supercontinent remains for a few hundred million years before breaking up again. The Earth's last supercontinent, known as Pangaea, formed 310 million years ago and started breaking up 130 million years later. So, if the formation of the next supercontinent is consistent with this natural cycle, it should appear within the next 250 million years. By looking at how the plates are moving today, researchers can predict what the next supercontinent, Pangaea Proxima, would look like. Africa has been moving towards Europe for millions of years now. It is predicted to collide with Europe and Asia, closing the Mediterranean Sea. Where the continents crash together, long mountain ranges would appear, extending across southern Europe, through the Mideast, and into Asia. About 150 million years later, the most drastic change will be the closing of the Atlantic Ocean. As a result, North and South America will come smashing and merge into the new Euro-African continent. California will collide with Alaska, with new mountain ranges forming between them. Australia, the fastest moving continent, is traveling north, suggesting that it will one day merge with Asia and collide with Japan, Korea, and eastern China. Antarctica, the most remote continent, will migrate northward, melting its ice caps. About 150 million years later, it will settle between Madagascar and Indonesia. When the dust settles, the result will be a huge landmass forming a ring around a large landlocked sea. By this point, Pangaea Proxima is one huge supercontinent surrounding a small part of an old Indian Ocean in the middle. And the Pacific will have grown to the point where it encircles half the Earth. But this is just one prediction of what the Earth may look like in the future. Some researchers predict that instead of the Atlantic Ocean disappearing, the Pacific Ocean may disappear. As a result, North and South America will collide into Asia, forming a hypothetical new continent creatively called Amasia. Regardless of what shape the Earth takes as it continues to change, we know that the environment of such an Earth will be wildly different from what we know today.